All right, what's up, YouTube, and everybody on YouTube? It's your boy King David, aka King Shit, back again with another video. Uh, today, I'm bringing you the video updating the uh, head unit that I just installed in my 2014 Durango, the 8.4 NA Uconnect system. Um, I was having a few issues with the auxiliary USB and SD um, not showing up or communicating with the with the unit so what I did is uh, a little research found out that the unit may need an update and the update had to apply to the VIN number that the actual unit came out of so um, I was able to obtain the VIN number from the seller went on driveuconnect.com slash software update uh, typed in the VIN number there was there was an update downloaded it to a USB drive it has to be 4 gigabytes or newer inserted it into the USB slot in the bottom there that was not working with the unit it was not showing up on the screen but I, I put the USB I put the USB thumb drive in and I waited for about I want to say 5 minutes and then it went into update mode so we'll see what happens after the update is finished when you're applying this update you cannot turn the car off you cannot remove the usb thumb drive if you do the unit becomes a brick and for the 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 price that these units cost that's not something that you want to be doing so just sit back relax and let the uh, update take its course and um, we should be good to go. We'll see. Hopefully that was my issue. I mean, everything else is working with the unit. Um, the only problem that I was having was the SD and the USB and auxiliary was not appearing on the screen as they should. So I'm hoping that this will that this will fix everything. I believe too this is how the dealer um updates your unit I'm not 100 percent sure don't quote me on that um but a lot a lot of stuff that that's done to my vehicles i like to do them myself and save money you know if i if i fuck something up in the process and <laughs> that's hey that's on me you know you do this at your own risk you know but if you come out you know, on top where everything worked and you saved about four or five hundred dollars. I don't know how much they would charge for an update like this, but I'm pretty sure it's not cheap. So I'm just hoping that everything goes through, you know, as it should unit updates. Um, and then that that uh, auxiliary USB and SD hub down there starts to work as it should. Cause like I said, everything else is working. You know the the maps. Um, Sirius XM, all of that stuff shows up as it should. I already know the issue with that. Now I have to install another antenna which won't be here probably until sometime the end of this month and i'm going to also do a video on that but i'll just let you guys watch the update process if there's any issues you'll be able to view it live if they're not if there's not any issues um you'll be able to view it live so Not gonna speed up the video. I want everything to be seen in real time.
when you get to the end, there'll be a screen that'll pop up that'll ask you, um, your, your version would just have to be the same. Just make sure that what you're looking at is the, the same version. When the, when the, when this is complete and the screen after this pops up, um, it'll ask you, I think it'll ask you if you want to update version, blah, 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 to version, blah, blah, blah. And as long as it's the same version, you're okay. If it's a lower version or it doesn't look the, the exact same, you're going to have to redo it. But just in, during this whole process, just remember not to turn the car off or not to remove that USB stick or you're going to be one unhappy, unhappy camper. And I'm doing this on on my own. Uconnect um, normally sends over the air updates, um, abbreviated as OTA. But since I'm not in the Uconnect system, also because this radio came out of a 2016 uh, Dodge Durango Limited installed into my vehicle, which is a 2004 Dodge Durango SXT. I do not get over the air updates. So this has to be either done by a dealer, which is my, I'm not going to do, or done yourself, which is pretty easy. It's, it's pretty easy. There's also several um, videos on YouTube um, regarding this, but um, anybody that subscribed to my channel can get it right here. See it first, firsthand right here. I think that's actually neat. The Parkas is off and the Eco on are blinking. Um, on my phone, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's due to frame rate. Because in real person, they're not blinking. Let me see. What I can do. See? They're not blinking. I think that would be pretty neat, though, if they were. That, that's just kind of cool. Like I said, I'm not going to speed through the video. I want um, everyone to see this in real time. See that it is possible to do on your own. You don't have to go to the dealer and, you know, spend an arm and a leg just to get it done. Um, nothing against the dealer. I mean, they, they have to make their money just like everybody else. You know, but um, when you're not sitting on just loads and loads and loads of cash, you don't have it to just give away like that. So doing some things on your own definitely benefits for you in the long run. I'm going to be bringing a lot of videos regarding um, updates on the Dodge Durango. Different things that I want to, that I'm going to do and to, do to it. So you guys just stay tuned for that. Ah, and I just realized I re I'm recording this video with the phone. Uh, I should have recorded the video another way. The other way. It should be all right, though. Unit number seven, total unit count 15. Unit percentage complete, 78%. We need to get that total percentage up to 100 down there. Once that's to 100, I'm pretty sure... Um, the unit to be finished updating.
So it's looking at as if the unit number needs to reach 15. No, I don't care. Um, if you guys would like to fast forward through the video, um, then that will be fine. But I want um, everyone to see this in real time so they'll know exactly what's going on with um, their radio when it's updating. Which was a little faster, but hey, can't get everything you want. <laughs> yep, it has to go to 15. So we got six more to go. Oh, it's moving a lot faster. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, as you guys can see, it's definitely moving a lot faster now. So these last five units that we have shouldn't take that long. And if everything does not go through, I still will upload this video. If something goes wrong, I still will upload this video just to show everyone, you know, that, that maybe you do need to go to the dealer and get this done. The XM pre-update, that was a unit name. We're, we're, we're off of that now. And on to the next one. XM update. <laughs> Yeah, I still up upload, you know, just so because this is this isn't a channel where, you know, I only show the good where, you know, only the, the good things um are completed. I want it to be a channel to where you know what to do and what not to do, you know, at, at my expense. Keep you guys from you know, totally ruining something that doesn't have to be ruined, you know, so, let's see, that's the unit name, OTA update, over the air update, maybe I will be able to get over the air updates after this is completed, we'll see though, I'll definitely keep you guys posted, any questions regarding this, you know, let me know in the comment section as well, And I'll, you know, try to, I'll try to respond and explain any questions to the best of my ability.
All right, now it's resetting. Come back up as Dodge. Now I should get that question that I asked you guys. I mean, that I told you guys that'll ask me. Let's see. Yeah, we got it to work. USB, auxiliary, Bluetooth, and SD. We in there. 100. This is how that's just supposed to be, boy. No cap, real talk. That's how that's just supposed to be right there. That's how that, that that's how that's supposed to look. 100 type shit. Yeah.